Okay, so contouring for darker skin. So I prefer contouring with a concealer or foundation for darker skin, just because the skin is generally a little bit more oily. So I find like, if your skin is producing a little bit of oil on the surface, it can cause a powder to cake a little bit. And often enough, you don't get a powder dark enough to make an impact. And the powders that you do get can turn the skin a little bit gray or very dark and it give it like a very dirty look and not actually a contoured look. So I'm going to use a darker concealer today to actually contour with. So what I've done is I've prepared the skin completely with, you know, primers, tinted moisturizers, everything. So right now we're just going to move straight onto the contouring. So what you want to do is I'm going to start in the middle of the face. And I find, especially with African women, with the bridge of the nose being a little bit wider, what you want to do is just bring the eyebrows in a little bit. So you can see I've drawn the eyebrows in a little bit. It is where the natural hair is anyway. Ladies, please don't blade your brows. It really, you need to get your shape really perfect. And what we're gonna do is just make a mark. So where the nostrils come out the nose, that's kind of where you just wanna make your line or your marker. And you can actually really create the illusion of a really narrow nose. If you already have a narrow nose, it's you shouldn't really contour. Just put a little bit of highlighter on the top of the nose and off you go. So what I'm actually going to do is take it into the eye area, just to really open this area up. And then I'm just going to move down and blend the concealer down a little bit. So what I'll do is just mark everywhere where you need to contour, and then we'll blend everything. And remember, the face is sym symmetrical. So what you want to do is, whatever you do to the top of the face, you need to do to the bottom of the face. Please skip those YouTube tutorials because whatever the makeup artist is doing in the YouTube tutorial is not according to your face. So do it in symmetry with your face. So what we're going to do is just contour a little bit on the hairline. I don't want to do too much because Simon Ken already has quite a small forehead so we don't want to make it smaller. So remember when you're contouring and shading with a darker tone you're actually hiding a feature so you can sort of lessen it. And when we contour on the cheeks, I like to say the gutters on the face because that is really what you want to do to create a nice sort of, you know, like rich jawline, if that makes sense. Just turn your face like this for me. So what you want to do, so you'll, this will work on, on any face um, shape. So from the small part of your ear to the corner of the mouth, that's the line that you want to contour. And if you feel it's directly under your cheekbone, but what you want to do is just contour this section. So just at the edge of your eye, it's only this section. If you contour all the way down, it can give you a very masculine look and you don't really want to go, you know, there. So we're starting at the ear. Please don't start here because then you're going to have that gap where there's no contour. So I'm just marking where you want to contour. And that's kind of where you want to stop. So when we contour the jawline, because we've contoured the forehead, you really just want to bring the contour down onto the jawline as well. So from the ear low, you contour directly on the bone, on the jaw bone. Just look to the front for me. And if you have quite a wide chin, just a tip, what you could do is just bring the contour up a little bit. So almost into a V. Area like that. So remember from the ear lobe, on the jaw bone, and then from the small part of the ear to the corner of your mouth, that's the line. And then you can just kind of blend it all. Okay. So I love to use, I'm just going to let that settle a little bit and I'm going to blend it with a beauty blender. Please remember to wet your beauty blender before you use it. So what I'm going to do now is actually just use my magic hands in highlight. So highlight you want to enhance, so it would be a lighter product. I'm going to use um, something with a little bit of metallics and it's really in this season. So I'm using something with a really bronze undertone and I'm really just going to pat it on where I want to enhance um, Simon Kenner's features. So really just on the actual, it's like your eye socket bone and also on your cheekbone. And then I like to do, I call it 3D highlighting. So what I'm going to do is just kind of add a little bit on the upper lip just to give that little part and you can automatically see how it just gives a little bit of an enhancement. So this is great if you have quite narrow lips and you just want to enhance your lips you know, without going to have fillers. So I'm going to do a little bit of dimensional highlighting as I said. So you can see the two colors. So this one has quite a coppery undertone and this one has more of a gold undertone. So what I'm going to do, just to me, is just in the corner of the eye, I'm going to use the gold 
just to kind of pop the, the um, eye bone a little bit more. And then just on the bridge of the nose, use a gold a little bit. And just to pop that lid, you can see it's a lot lighter than the one I've used before, just over the whole lid to give that really beautiful pop look. So we're just waiting for the, the you know, all the product to settle, her skin to kind of just grasp it and take it in. So what you can do to really just pop the eye area is to actually just take a nude lip liner and just run it in the waterline of the eye. So it's a very natural colour, it's very similar to your waterline colour. So instead of using the, the white as they used to do in the 80s, we're just toning it down a little bit and you can see just like that. You can see how that's really just opened up the eye area. So it's a quick natural way just to really pop. And then what I also like to do for this look is just take any shimmer eyeshadow, so anything with a gold, copper, or bronze undertone, and with a pointed brush, sorry, <laughs> with a pointed brush, so I've just applied a little bit of metallic. You can even use a pigment, so a really nice soft pigment, and just pop it around the tear duct. So this really just pops your eye area as well. And you kind of just blend it around the whole tear duct. And this is just a quick, easy way. So it kind of just gives you that woken up, you know, it just pops your eyes quite a lot. You can see how it just really opens up the eye. So what I'm going to do now with a beauty blender, it is already wet. I'm just going to dab and blend this in. So I'm pulling it down a little bit. So you can see I'm doing a flicking motion just to kind of blend it into the skin. And then with a tip, just to get in there and just... So with the, the cheek contour, what you want to do is kind of push it up into the highlighter, if that makes sense. Just push it up, because now we're going to blend the two together. Remember, we don't want it to look, you know, like she's been, I don't know, stamped with something. Um, and now we're just going to contour. So what I'm doing now is I'm actually flicking it up more, just to really chisel her jawline. So I'm blending the darker tone first, so my shading contour I'm blending first, and then just for the other side, the clean side, I'm now going to blend the highlighter into the contour, so that there's, it should look seamless, so it should really just blend and flow into one another, there shouldn't be like a contour highlight, you know, it should really just flow beautifully into one another. And always remember when you've done this, always stand away from the mirror a little bit and look at your face as a whole because I find you're standing in the mirror, you're so concentrated on what you're doing that when you actually step and by the time you get to your event or the office or wherever you're going, you're in the car and you're like, oh, you know, and it isn't actually blended properly. So just make sure to step away from the mirror and just make sure everything is blended beautifully. You can also use your fingers to blend in, so any like um, damp, also kind of like moisty products that you want to apply on the skin, you want to just use your fingers because it does sort of provide heat um, on the skin. So you just want to blend that in beautifully. So that's pretty much that's it. So I like a really dewy look, nice fresh look. You can also use a matte highlighter, so what you would do is you could just contour with a lighter concealer than the skin tone. So for a dark skin tone, I would say like one or two shades lighter. Don't go too light because then it can actually just look a bit fake and a bit like a doll. So we want to kind of just make it look like the skin is really natural and it's a very natural contour. Um, and then what I like to do just to finish it off is to add a nice gloss to this look. So I'm actually just using a really nice peachy toned glass and I'm not going to line the lip or anything because I find women on the run it's easy just to whip out a glass and pop it on. So I'm just going to do a really nice and natural, it's got a slight peachy shade to it. And then it's just to finish it off. If you're conscious about sort of glowing or the dewy look is a bit much for you, don't get confused between a dewy look and an oily look. 
so what you can do is actually just take your um, wet beauty blender, some translucent powder, the translucent powder, the white one, ladies. So don't feel like because your skin tone is a little bit darker that you can't use it. So I find by wetting it, so literally like this, just dab off the excess. And even with a darker skin tone, so you actually want to dab off quite a lot, you can really just pat it on. So it's almost like the baking um, technique. We're just going to pat on sort of where we don't want too much shine, if you want to call it that. Um, so just basically on the T-zone, just kind of where you want it to be a little bit more matte. So I like to keep the sides of the face really dewy. Um, especially if you're going to be in photos or that, it's quite nice to just kind of match your T-zone. I'm just going to take the foundation brush that I used and I'm just going to sort of blend off the excess. So you can see it doesn't actually make the skin look grey or anything. It really just absorbs that excess. So make sure the beauty blender's wet and then apply the translucent part over that. And that's it ladies, done. Perfect contour.